Hi, my name is David Cook. I am the clarinet professor at Millikan University, and in this video I'll be talking about the first of the 21 foundation studies as compiled by Rhodes. This one is the first one in the book that was written by Lee. In this etude, even though it's written in common time, I prefer to think of it as in a gentle two, so where it's written as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think it helps the sense of flow and lyric quality if we instead think of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's so almost like treating it as though it's in cut time. Another tip about this etude is that I think you should plan your breathing in advance. There are very few rests, especially in the outer sections, so you need to figure out where you're going to breathe. You might try every four or eight measures, as that's usually a good phrase length. I actually prefer a lot of times to breathe after a dotted quarter note instead of trying to breathe directly on the bar line. So if we were to go from the beginning, after the long note or if you have a chance to breathe uh, after a repeated pitch, that gives this a sense of sort of perpetual motion through the etude, almost like a river flowing. Whereas if you're to breathe directly on the bar line, it might feel sort of stilted. <laughs> instead of directly between two measures. Something else about this etude is that there are very few dynamic markings in this. You really should go in and add your own to make this more interesting. Just as an example, I like to play measure one at the forte that it's printed and then sort of ebb and flow with the contour of the line. And then when we get to repeated material at measure nine, I actually play that a little softer just to give it a little bit of a color change or a character change in the music. Another idea that is really common throughout this etude is there's a lot of instances where you should play your low E's with just your left pinky. Uh, measure five is a really good example of this. So low E, we would probably normally play with left pinky and right pinky. <laughs> We have a G sharp that comes next, and it's going to be really awkward and uncomfortable, especially with how far apart the pinky keys are on a bass clarinet, to go from have your pinky here and then have to slide up to the G sharp. And it's really a big leap to make, and I'm not even sure how many times I could do it consistently if I were to try that. But fortunately, you can play your low E with only the left pinky, just on the same key. And it makes no difference in the sound. So you can play the low E with just the left and then the G sharp with the right pinky. And there's a lot of instances where you'll use that in this etude. Similar spot is measure 46 at the end of the measure where you have a B middle of the staff that comes down to a G sharp. And you can play that B with the left pinky and then go to the G sharp on the right. And you'll have to adjust your voicing a little bit in your tongue position to make sure the low G sharp comes out as a G sharp and not a D sharp in the middle of the staff. One other spot where voicing, or the way we shape our tongue is really important, is measure 37, where you have this sort of large slur. Low G, clarion B, high G. And when you play this passage, it can be difficult to get those three notes to sound cleanly. So I do these really slowly initially, 
and get used to where my tongue needs to be to make sure all the notes come out. I find it helpful to keep the tongue really high in the oral cavity, like you're voicing, like you're saying the letter E. <laughs> Especially the B to the G can be tricky sometimes. Now that was too high and that's why that squeak came out. But if conversely, if we go too low, it's broken. The slur isn't clean and it kind of scoops into the high G. And your air has to be very consistent throughout this. So it's really helpful to go slowly through those three notes. And it's the same case in measure 41, four measures later. I hope you found these tips for practicing this etude helpful. If you have any questions or are interested in taking a lesson with me, send me an email at dcook at milliken.edu. Good luck on your Allstate auditions and happy practicing. <laughs>